In this lab, we're going to configure some GPOs in my Linux systems using Centrify. We're going to be performing this from client one using Jesse's account, the Unix administrator. But we have a little problem, and it's that our Unix administrator is not allowed to create GPOs. So we're going to pretend that he's getting help from uh, Bryant to help him out. Windows administrator would do. So I'm going to launch group policy management as Bryant. And uh, we're going to create a, a, a GPO and delegate it to Jesse. So I'm going to go to my domain. I'm going to expand the Unix OU. And I'm going to link the GPO at this level because I'm doing this because I want only that this GPO applies to the computers that are sitting in there, which are my Unix Linux systems. So I'm going to call it Unix uh, settings. And uh, because I want Jesse to be able to edit this GPO, I'm going to go ahead and uh, delegate the object to him. So all I need to do is find him um, in the delegation. And there you go. And I'm going to make him uh, able to modify, delete, and all, all that good stuff. So now, when Jesse actually opens Group Policy Management, he can go and uh, edit that. So let's pretend that uh, Brian said, hey, you know, the GPO is, is ready, so why don't you go ahead and, and edit it? So there's the Unix Settings GPO, and I'm going to go ahead and edit that. And uh, this opens the Group Policy Management Editor. The first thing we need to do is we need to add the Centrify templates. You will notice that there's a Centrify node already in there, but we need to actually add more of the templates that we can use. So I'm going to go ahead and right click under the computer settings, add remove templates. I'm going to press the add templates button and I'm going to pick Centrify Linux, Centrify Unix, and centrify DC settings. So let's go ahead and double click them um, individually. And I'm going to do centrify DC. So when I do this, now I have more hives here. Uh, notice that I have a, a bunch of them for uh, Mac OS. So um, let me just expand here. Let's go ahead and we're going to edit some of the prompts, right? So one of the things that I noticed in our demo is that. Uh, we don't really know whose password we're typing, so we're going to make life easier. So we're going to go ahead and change the message text for, uh, you know, set login the password prompt. So we're going to change this one and we're going to set it to enabled. And this is going to be AD password here. So um, just to make sure that and that way people know, hey, AD password. Uh, the message text for next password change. Let's go ahead and change this one. You're required to change your AD password immediately. And uh, let's go ahead and change this expiration text. I don't like the one that we have right now. It's something, something like this. Your AD password is much more um, intuitive. Let's change the prompt here and from your new AD password. This is when you're changing the password. And this is, uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, for a new AD password. And remember, this is going to be user in AD. And this is set, set up current AD password here. And uh, I think this is good. Um, this is good for the first uh, GPOs because that way we want to control who has access. So let's go into our Unix system. Let's go ahead and uh, open our, let's, let's go to our CentOS system. And let's log in as um, J. Matthews. All right. So let's um, let's check something here. Uh, we want to make sure that the SSH daemon is using the issue file to display um, the banner. 
oh, on SSH. So let's do, um, it would be VI at C, SSH, SSH, uh, D config. And uh, let's do this, uh, DZ do. Hopefully my password. Okay. There you go. And, uh, find the issue. And I guess we don't have an issue banner. And uh, we're going to change this to the issue file. So this should be um, Etsy issue. And uh, let's go ahead and save that. And let's um, reboot SSH. DZ do service or as bin for service. SSHD restart. There you go. Now uh, let's do an ADGP update. And let's take a look at what happens. So let's go ahead and duplicate the session. And so in here, you can see that I can see the banner that I set up before, and now the prompt says AD password. So there you go. Now we have a, a cleaner thing. Now it says your AD password is going to expire in 30 days. And if I were to do something like password, see, changing your AD password. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. Actually, that's violate the policy so let's do that so let's do one two three four five one two three four five very short very simple see um we're enforcing the password policy we're enforcing the banner uh when i elevate dz do ad flush now i'm getting um Probably my, my, my prompt is going to change too. So that shows that uh, group policies are working. And if you want to check it out, all you need to do is view the file that is on CAD. Let's see, uh, var centrify DC, and that would be reg machine, and that is gp.report and more. And this is the file that outlines uh, what's in our uh, virtual. Um, virtual registry. Pretty cool, huh? Define in one place and enforce in multiple places. And that's it. This is the group policy demo. Thank you.